And it was the day it was. I was shooting baskets. It was on Vickers. I was shooting baskets outside. Had my car door open because I listen to NPR and shoot baskets. I'm an enlightened individual. I'm I'm educated. And so you know I'm gonna shoot baskets and listen to NPR. And it was like the third day in a row that a pro-choice like idea was being just kind of flaunted out there as normative. And I, I was like, you know what? I'm done with you. Just done with you. Uh, but are we? Are we? Have we been? Which ones? How do you shut it off? You turn me off yet? Do you know my goal is to get you to turn me off? Really? Really? I want you to read my books. Keep buying my books. Keep supporting me, but don't watch. <laughs> Someday. I don't know if that's true. I want you to listen. I want you to watch. I want you to be part of the community, but I really want you to not watch much. I want you to know that this drug in your eyeballs, if you're listening, it doesn't count. The drug in your eyeballs is a drug. And if I can convince you it's a drug, you manage it yourself. But I need to convince you it's a drug because you don't think it is. It's a drug worse than this one is. It's like on the level of heroin, and you're addicted. We all are. They made us watch it as babies. <laughs> you know? But you don't have, it, it is not as addictive as heroin in this way. Habitually, it is. But in this way, uh, in terms of being able to stop, it's as bad as heroin pulling you back in. Like, you can't get out and never get pulled back in. Like, you're going to, if it's there, you're going to do more kind of thing. Um, but you can, as a Christian, have enough self-control to regulate your TV dosages, uh, your, your shining screen dosages. And I'm not saying be perfect at it. I'm not saying set goals and measure your righteousness by it. I'm telling you, you don't have to let it run your life. That's what I'm telling you. It, it does not have to. And the, and the sooner you believe it's a drug, the more you'll be able to work your way out of that. And, and then the sooner you believe it's a drug and start writing down what people say and then asking later, was that true? Why would I believe that? What is the assumption behind what they've said? Who's paying for it? Qui bono? Who benefits? Um, the, the more that you can do that, uh, not only are you just going to get smarter, you're going to feel better about life.